Hey YouTube, hey Facebook, it's me, Alexandria. This is your Daily Dose, so I'm finally getting to it. I just got home a uh, half hour or so ago. I've been helping a friend of mine sort things out over at um, a community center that we're putting together, and we'll be doing a lot to it if we get the extended lease on the building we're in. Um, so yeah, that's one of the things I do is I go out into the community and I help. Um, this is my way of giving back to the Vortex. Uh, you hear me talking a lot about the Vortex, so... I think I'm going to take a few minutes and exactly explain at least what my concept of the Vortex is. Because it's really hard to put something extra dimensional into terms that make sense. And it's like trying to describe a hypercube. Well, what a hypercube is, is a four dimensional object. But since we can't perceive four dimensional objects with our waking mind, um, it would look like a, ran a consistently shifting cube, uh, turning several cubes turning themselves inside out, or two cubes turning completely tumbling and turning themselves inside out, and just all sorts of weirdness that just wouldn't make any sense to us. And you can look it up on YouTube. There's plenty of simulations of what we might perceive as a hypercube. Um, but yeah. Uh, so the vortex, what is it? Um, well, some of you know I'm very spiritual. Um, I, I'm on this path. Uh, I like to say that I'm on a path to enlightenment. Though I don't necessarily think that's exactly the right term for the path that I'm walking right now. I'm on a path to self-discovery is more appropriate. Um, I want to learn as much about myself, about the world around me, and about my interactions with not just this world, but the spiritual world as well. Because I do believe that all people are made up, made up of not just their consciousness, which can't science can't prove why we're conscious. That they simply say we are. That that's that's the bottom line. Um, they don't even understand a fraction of what the mind is capable of. Uh, every time they think they've got it figured out, something new happens, and they're confused all over again, and just back to square one. Uh, so my take on everything, and this kind of uh, ties into my quasi-religious views. I'm not exactly religious anymore. Um, for a long time I was a pa practicing uh, Wiccan, or, or pagan if you prefer the term. Um, I was a witch. Uh, I still consider myself a witch because I still work in the realms of Manis manifestation through will. So, in essence, that's working magic, if you want to call it that. I, I prefer just manifestations of will. Uh, so, basically, what it means is there is this vortex of your intentions, your consciousness, your core, uh, your core being, the both your waking and non-waking mind, so your subconscious and conscious minds, make up this vortex. And you can't see it with your waking eyes, but you can feel it with your other senses if you're open to it. I can't describe it. Uh, I, I can't form words that accurately, accurately describe the sensation of being in your vortex. Um, it's a place where you can connect to source. Uh, source for a Christian would be God. Source for me is just that source. It's what we came from. Source for a Muslim would be Allah. Or for certain people I know, Isis. For, or others. I can keep going on and on and on. And it's all really the same thing when you get down to it. Um, I know plenty of atheists that believe in Source because it's not God. It's not a God. Source is not a God. Source is this sort of omnipresent energy that's conscious and alive and part of all of us and we're part of it. At the same time, we're all very much individual. It's really... It's a really advanced concept, and I have trouble wrapping my mind around it sometimes, too. But it makes a lot of sense when you really get into the 
um, well, when you really just get into it, I meditate every day. Um, I, I spend at least three minutes of that meditation just focusing on the vortex of swirling energies around me and everything I have in that vortex. So this is what I do. This is part of how the law of attraction works. You have something clearly in your mind. You have a destination, a goal. Um, you have a desire and you put it into that vortex and you picture it and you form it into a pocket of your own reality within your mind. And you just set it loose in your vortex and you let it go and say, this is Mother Universe, bring me this because it will enable me to help more people. Grant me this because it will be able to get me the house that I want. Grant me this because it will be able to allow me to afford to move my loved ones out here. Um, there are so many things that you can put into the vortex that just, they will come back on you. It's really an easy concept, but it's hard to describe and hard for me to explain because I don't entirely understand it. I just know that it works and I know that it exists. Um, and how do I know that these things is because I've experienced them and you're going to probably say, well, that's kind of crazy. Okay, well then I'd rather not be saying because I, I've seen what the law of attraction can do. I've seen with my own eyes the power that self-manifestation has. Um, Jim, uh, best friend in the world, manifests like crazy. He is so far within his own vortex that it trips me out. I mean, it, it really trips me out. I, I love being around Jim. Jim is such a positive person to be around even when we're not when we're having those moments that all vets have where we're just kind of like oh, and then this happened oh yeah well we went through this and yeah we went through this and and we're just swapping old stories all vets do it it's just something we do um even in those moments we're coming at it from this this place of understanding this this higher level of consciousness um, that's where your vortex resides. That, that's, it, it's a higher state, a heightened state of being. Um, it's, uh, elevated moods, elevated brain activity, elevated bodily activity. Your, your cells are more alive. You are more alive. Uh, you heal quicker. You learn m more quickly. You retain knowledge. And it, it's, absolutely absolutely insane that anyone could do all of this but it's very possible for all of us to do it and that's what's beautiful um, thankfully I'm doing it through Empower Network and Mar My Lead System Pro that they are the ones that are helping me manifest my dreams into the reality that I and I am very grateful for everybody that I've met through both programs. Um, and I have no intention on going anywhere anytime soon. I, I am successful with both. I, I'm not at the level of success that my mentors are. That's why they are my mentors. I've never seen $40,000 in one day. I've never made that much money in one day. But some of the people I know and some of the people I'm learning from have. Quite recently, actually, they went to Vegas. Um, they're celebrating in Vegas. They had a $100,000 a month, and they're celebrating in Vegas. I can't fault them for that. They can do whatever they want, whenever they want, with whomever they want. And it's okay. He is literally a hippie. He is a modern-day hippie. I had somebody ask me where I wanted to be in five years, and I told them I wanted to be a hippie. How insane is that? And I do. I want to be able to just go dancing wherever. I want to be able to walk the streets of the city and not have to worry about money or jobs or anything. Like I want to be able to go to work because I want to work, not because I have to work. I want to go to work to learn things. See, I... Uh, 
it's why I volunteer so much, is I, I learn new skills. I, I'm learning, I'm slowly picking up electrical, electrician work, electrical work on that, and I, I'm pretty good with my hands, so I'm really arts and craftsy. And I'm picking all that stuff up, and I'm making myself, I think, a more round, well-rounded, uh, more, a richer individual. That's how I feel. And I, I truly believe that that's the case. But yeah, it, it's so crazy. Um, the vortex. Uh, it, the best way I can describe it, I, I know exactly how to describe the feeling. Because I know what it feels like when I'm in the vortex. When I'm in the vortex, it literally feels like my body is right here and the rest of me is pulled back slightly just slightly out of phase with the rest of reality and you just feel like you're resonating you feel like your very core is just made of energy and You, you have access to source, and through source you, you get these beautiful, beautiful images and feelings and sensations, and, and you start to just know things. Um, I, I, I kind of understood a little bit about that, but when I, it's really crazy how this happened. So, last week, I... I, I made a video that I never posted. Um, I do that once in a while, just because some of my videos I don't think are appropriate for public viewing, so I delete them. Um, I probably shouldn't judge myself like that, but I do. Um, yeah. Sorry, it's been a really long day, uh, but yeah, a couple weeks ago, this video that I made, I mentioned that I want to help people. That is my, that's my passion. That's my goal in life. I, I want to truly help people. A few days later, later, my buddy Jim messages me, Hey, can you come help me move some stuff out of the dragon? We're, we're going to be cleaning it up, turning it into a community center. Oh, he didn't say, tell me the community center. We're just cleaning it up and I'm going to move in. It's like, okay, sure. So I go over there and I, I help, I don't help a lot because I, I don't, there's not a lot that I can do. I, I can't bend over and pick things up off the floor too easily because getting down's the easy part, getting back up is the hard part. But I helped as much as I could and I, I don't feel that it was enough. I feel that somehow in some way I could have done more. And that's just how I felt. And I've been dropping by after school to help him. Um, I didn't drop by yesterday. I did drop by today. I dropped by Monday. And I'm just continually dropping by and helping and just giving him time and giving the center time. And it's showing. People are taking notice of me in ways that I didn't expect. Um, I went to dinner with his, uh, I guess we'll call him business partner or boss. I'm not really sure what Lou is to Jim, but she's kind of the boss. I mean, it's really her show. So Lou is an awesome woman. I um, love Lou to death. She is, she is very cool. She's one of the, I don't know if what the proper term would be, but she's cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm meeting all these interesting people that are just truly, truly wealthy people. Maybe not monetarily wealthy. And I don't really, I rarely refer to wealth as in monetary value. I, I normally refer to it as wealth as in just filled with love and this richness about them. That's what I consider wealthy. Um, and I went out to dinner with them. Uh, I was all happy to 
because I knew he was going to go out to dinner with him. And then when she showed up, she says, oh, yeah, you're coming, too. It's like, oh, okay. Well, that, that was unexpected. And it was cool. I mean, we got to talking. I got to learn more about her. I learned more about a lot of the, a couple of the groups that are in the local area that I can help out with. And we shared some ideas about ways to make the community center even better. And I just really liked that. Um, it made me feel like I was contri a contributing part. It made me feel... Well, it made me feel good because I know that this is going to help a lot of people. And that's really what I want to do is just help people. That's that's my purpose. So, And I found that while I was in the vortex, while I was connected to Source. Literally, I saw me talking in front of thousands of people thousands upon thousands of people and them cheering and some of them crying and people coming up to me afterwards going oh my god you changed my life that's when I will consider myself successful um, I'm having success but I don't consider myself successful my I have a distinct vision of success what successful is for me and until I'm in front of that crowd of people and I have people running up well I've already got people telling me I'm changing their lives so and I've only been at this a few months imagine how where I'm gonna be at in a year oh my god this is gonna be insane are you guys ready for this I don't think you are hell I'm not ready for this and I'm so psyched oh my god oh, I, I can't even tell you some of the things that I'm doing business wise right now oh Oh my god, I need to make a different another video about just that. In fact, I'm going to. Um, so this has been your Daily Dose and mine. I'm Alexandria Marie. Um, I'm going to make a second video right after this. So I can tell you some of the great things that I'm doing with my companies. I will talk to you all later. Namaste.